Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to use Dissolve Photoshop Action and how to customize the effect when the action has complete. So what we're gonna do actually, we're gonna make from this photo this in only two steps. Uh, so the first step is to brush the areas that you want to dissolve and the second step is to choose the direction of dissolve and just click on the play button. Okay, I got a few more examples here, from this to this, from this to this. and from this to this ok, I will close down these windows now these are photo uh, to open your photo you need to go file open choose your photo, just click open ok, uh, to load the action go to window, actions click on this little arrow here load actions, just choose the action that can be download, click load here is the action as you see we got the four directions of dissolve, right, left, up and down uh, before you pl play the action, to check a few things the first is make sure that your photo is a background layer so it should be called background, have this little lock icon something like this or anything else, just go to layer, new, choose background from layer and make sure that your image mode is a uh, uh, RGB color mode, 8 bit channel. Also, I'll check the image size. Uh, resolution should be 300. And widened height should be any value. Uh, so you can choose uh, image of any size, but uh, I wouldn't recommend you to use the images that are uh, smaller than 1500 pixels widened height. So, because the liquid parts will probably look too big, but you can experiment, of course. Uh, so I usually use 2000 pixels here for white and uh, if you use uh, bigger images the liquid parts with, uh, will look smaller if you use smaller images the liquid parts will look bigger so uh, I recommend you to try first with 2000 pixels and then see if you think that parts are too bigger then use uh, bigger images if you think that your parts are uh, too small then use a, s a smaller image okay. I also made uh, some examples to explain that better. Here it is, the same image. Here the image size is 2000 pixels. And you can see the size of the parts. And here the image size is 4000 pixels. Okay. Uh, the next step is to make a new layer rename it to brush all letters must be lowercase otherwise the action won't work and choose a brush tool I pick the soft brush color is not important of course and now just br brush the area that you want to dissolve I'll brush a little bit here and here a little bit here and a little bit here Okay. Uh, what is important about these brush lines is that the thickness of the brush determines the appearance of the liquid parts. So if you use thicker brush, liquid parts will be bigger and they will be more densely deployed. And if you use thinner brush uh, lines, uh, then the liquid parts will be smaller and they will be more uh, thinly deployed. I made some examples to show you. Here they are. Okay. As you see, here where the line is thicker, the parts are bigger and uh, more densely deployed and here we got thinner line and as you can see parts are smaller and uh, more thinly deployed 
Well, what you can do also is to somewhere brush uh, where you want uh, the parts to be bigger and uh, more densely deployed, just brush bigger. Where you want uh, the uh, be uh, smaller and uh, thin deployed, just brush thinner line. Okay. Uh, I choose the right direction here. Uh, the action needs about a minute and a half to complete. This depends on your image size. So I'll pause the video here and then come back when the action has complete. Okay, the action has just stopped. So first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna close down this window. Okay, uh, you will see that the uh, group, uh, the soul will be selected. So uh, first we're gonna do uh, hold on, uh, hold control button and alt button and just click on this little arrow here that will close down all the folders. Uh, okay, now uh, here we got the color options group. As you can see he, uh, here, uh, we got uh, 25 color options. So all you need to do is to choose color option that you want uh, and just turn on its visibility. If you don't like it, simply turn it off and try with another color option. While you don't find the color option that go goes the best with your photo, I will choose uh, this color option now. Okay. Here we got the adjustments group. Uh, this is the brush layer that we have made on the beginning of the video. So I like this layer because the this action is made so every time you run the action you get a unique result, even if you use the same brushed area. So these uh, uh, liquid parts we always have a different form. Uh, uh, so if you want to play uh, the action again using the same brushed area, all you need to do is to drag this layer above, select all these layers, delete them, and your photo is ready to play the action again. Okay. I will turn that uh, off that layer now. Here we got the uh, overall brightness and contrast. So this layer affects the whole image. Double click here and here you can change the brightness and contrast. I will increase the brightness a little bit. Okay, here we got the color toning layer. It's giving some nice tone to the whole photo. Add saturation layer. So double click here and here you can change the saturation. I will leave it like this now. Uh, this is the add contrast layer. If you want to increase the contrast, just increase the opacity of this layer. I set, uh, set it something like this. <coughs> okay, I'll close down this group now. This is the focus group. So this group uh, is giving us uh, this shadow and uh, edge darkening is better to say. And the uh, blur and sharp and so on. So here it is, the edge darkening layer. If you want to remove, you simply turn it off. Or what you can also do, you can turn it on but lower its opacity. Something like this. Okay. And I will lower it a little bit more. Okay, this is the add blur uh, layer. As you can see now, uh, he's affecting only the this area here. So if you want to blue, uh, blue anything on the photo, just select this layer, its layer mask and uh, take a brush tool. Uh, set foreground color to white and just brush the areas that you want to blur. Simply, uh, I'll show you now, for example, you see everywhere you click, you will blur that area. Okay, and also if you want to unblur uh, some area, just set foreground color to black. Uh, layer mask must be selected and just click on place where you want to remove the blur. So you can remove it wherever you want. Okay. Uh, and this is the add sharpen layer. If you want to even increase the sharpen even more, just duplicate this layer. And that's it. You can then lower the opacity of this layer if you want. I will leave it like this. Okay. Here we got the dissolve group. This is actually the whole effect. 
So I'll open that group. Uh, here we got the liquid parts group and liquid one and liquid uh, liquid two and liquid one layers. Uh, these layers uh, are making your selected area uh, looks liquid. These are parts. As you can see, they are fully layered. Here we got the parts brightness and contrast. Double click here. Uh, this la uh, layer affects only the parts. So if you change the brightness, it will change the brightness only on the parts, and nothing uh, or nothing else. Is it is it the same with contrast, of course? Okay. This is the overall parts color. So this layer changes the color of uh, all parts. All you need to do is to double click here and just change this value of hue. <coughs> and here it is. Well here I will not uh, change color now. Uh, <coughs> also as you see uh, every part has uh, <coughs> a separate layer uh, called color so you can change the color all only of uh, some uh, part. For example uh, this layer changes the color of all parts but if you want to change uh, the color of some part uh, separately you just select the uh, color level above him. So this layer uh, will affect only the part one and so on. You got uh, that color layers above every uh, part layer. Okay, so let's try. Here we go. So you can make uh, very color colorful designs. Change this to blue and so on. I will not change color now. and uh, you can select any of these parts uh, if you want to create more parts you can simply duplicate any of these layers but you can also duplicate the whole group if you want so for example if you duplicate this layer here it is as you see we can create more parts pretty much quick in only a few seconds Okay, so what you can also do, you can transform any of the parts. You see here, you can scale the parts. You can uh, rotate them if you want. And uh, also, to, you can blur the parts if you want. Just go to filter and choose uh, Gaussian blur set value any that you want, depends on how much blur you want you see, just click OK and layer will, uh, part will be blurred ok if you want to remove any of the parts you can simply uh, turn it off uh, what you can also do you can only, if you want to delete uh, uh, for example, we got this part here and you want to remove only this part of this layer, you can just select its layer mask uh, set foreground color to black and only remove that layer on that place ok, or set foreground color to white, then get it back ok uh, also if you, uh, if you want to remove some part but you don't know where that part is on these layers for example, I want to remove this part here but I, know, I don't know on which layer is that part uh, because it's blurred, it probably <laughs> it's uh, of course uh, some of the blurred layers. But if you have, if you have some other part, uh, just take the uh, move tool, uh, check this out to select option, and just click on that part. You will select your sharpen uh, layers, turn them off, and then click again. And as you can see, he will automatically uh, find that part on the layers here and select it you can see that is that part so if you want to remove it you can turn it off or if you want to remove the, uh, this layer on this place just select its layer mask take a brush set foreground color to black and just remove it simply and also you will see now that when you turn on the sharpen layer again 
uh, sometimes uh, when you remove some part and turn on the sharper layers uh, uh, there is a equals sometimes when you remove the uh, some part and then turn on the uh, sharpen layers uh, sometimes uh, uh, on that place stays some line so you can what you can do you can um, I'll show you that now for example I want to remove this part also so here it is okay now I need to turn on the sharpen layers again and as you can see, this uh, <coughs> when I turned off this layer, this what you got here. So what you can do, you can select the uh, layer mask of the sharpen layer and remove it. But you need to do on both layers if you duplicated this layer. But what you can also do, you will now remove the sharp on that places. So uh, what is maybe the better option is the to remove both at sharpen layers. Close on this group and um, make a new layer above the add blur layer and hide these two groups and these two layers go to image apple image okay and then go to go to filter and choose the other high pass set value to 2 and set its binding mode to linear light. Now turn on the layers that you turn it off. And here it is, you got the sharpen layer again without that line here. <coughs> Another great thing that you can do with this action is to play the action a few times. So uh, what you can do, for example, if you want to dissolve the <coughs> this photo in this direction, but you want to dissolve it in the left direction too, for example, uh, what you need to do is to turn off all the layers except the, the sole layer then go to save, uh, save as and save the image as a, a jpeg image and then open it again uh, brush uh, the area that you want to dissolve uh, select the in this case uh, uh, left uh, direction and then you will you will have these layers again so I made some example for that here it is so first what I do, I have brushed this area here. I removed all the layers except uh, dissolve. So I removed these layers here. I saved the image as JPEG and then I open it again. Brushed this area here and played the action but with the left direction. So I have the dissolve in left and right directions. You, you, uh, you can, if you want, you can play it again with the dissolving uh, up and down, of course. So. So that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And if you if you got any questions, please contact me via my Envato profile page. Bye.